Hey guys, Mayflom here, and today I want to share something that's inspired by Sandy Alnock because my original cup, my original set here of brush shows came from her and I learned about them from her um, when I was recovering they were a really great coloring medium and I just don't use them enough anymore so I want to do a little more here is some watercolor paper I just spritzed with water and what I am gonna do so the way that these work the best way in my opinion is you have a pin in the top and that works really well for two reasons number one it keeps everything locked up number two you can let some out and you can watch the magic it doesn't take much so you can always add more water you can always do a lot of things i'm just going to go through here with a couple different colors and if i feel like my paper is drying out i can just it's brush o magic i'm telling you it's so much fun and i mentioned before that sandy aldeck actually my original set she gave them to me and she does all she's the master if you ask me of these things so i will link up to her as well and what i really just wanted to do is showing you a fun background now i mentioned my injury so these were really great for me when i really couldn't do much with my hands i really couldn't hold very many things i really couldn't do very many things and these were absolutely great because guess what i could work with these you know these all i had to do was a little bit of color here and there and we are in business all i had to do was flick them you know i didn't have to have a lot of uh, hand mobility heck i could do them left-handed and that just was the best so i've done a couple colors now i'm just i'm gonna add a little bit of purple in here look at how they act and react and it's explosions and i thought fourth of july let's do let's have some fireworks let's have some fun let's see where we can take this and i'm gonna spray it to the edges because really what my ultimate goal here and i'm trying to work slowly let it kind of set for a little bit and then add more because i want a really rich background because of what i want to do next then what i want to do is just add some lawn pond stamps uh, i have a set in mind in fact the ones I have in mind are these ones right here, and I'm thinking cut out and put them on. But first all I need to do is just let this totally set up. Ah, isn't that fun? I could just sit here and play with just that all day long because it is just so much fun. Now I am going to use this little tool here just to kind of flatten things out. We can use something on the edges if needed to deal with any of that, but I got to tell you, I like where this is looking. Right now, I like it. I do want it a little more blended, which I can do a couple ways. I'm gonna add some more water, as you see me doing here. I'm gonna specifically target a couple areas. Oh, this is fun. So much fun. But then I'm gonna let it dry off a bit. I'm not gonna try to just keep pounding it with color. I'm going to let it, give it a minute here. I'm just looking, here's some blue. One another blue. There's the turquoise. Okay. And there's another blue. Okay. So I'm going to let it dry off a little bit. And then I'm just going to spritz it one more time. And just those powders all over. I like that it takes a little time, but also, you know, you have to have that patience, but you can also kind of see what's going on. I think this one. There we go. See how that does and I'm kind of targeting the lighter areas right now or the areas where I want to see um, more going on and I'm gonna try to just kind of let that do its thing and then I'm gonna bring my water way up high this time so it's just barely 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 misting this and then I'm gonna let it dry and you know what I like how it looks I don't even need to try to use technique you guys and I kind of love that I love that I can just go spray and go and it's fun and I love it okay so we'll let this totally dry and then we'll add some stamps I stamped this on white cardstock make a wish and I know I want that to be my sentiment I also know and here's watercolor paper and you'd see it messed up there that's okay I also know that I want to cut some of these animals out I have the matching dies so I'm just gonna run those through the Sizzix and uh, basically just they're matching dies so I'll just put the matching ones over cut them out 
with the machine that saves me time from having to hand cut and we'll use those so I know that much so far but I want to work on the background a little bit first and what I want to do is use these star stamps and what I think I want to do and I'm going to try one first and if it doesn't work it doesn't work we're not the end of the world but let's give it a try I want to do white embossing powder I think it'll work I've certainly left this long enough to dry at this point in time that I don't anticipate any problems but you know what <laughs> things go wrong so okay so that looks like it's gonna work then what I'm gonna do is just get my heat tool and heat set here and we'll know it's heat set because it'll turn shiny and then I'm just gonna repeat that with a couple more designs once this is once this is set we'll work one at a time so we can see how it's looking you could do this in a batch you could do all of them at the same time but personally I think I'm gonna just give it a try one at a time see how it goes I'm also gonna take some white ink and some of these little stars and just stamp a few more so I don't need everything to be embossed I really just want to make a really fun starry sky and I'm loving it I just love how this is already turning out and we haven't even gotten to the really fun part yet we haven't even I think I'm gonna yeah I'll let a few stars be under too okay so we have lots of stars we have and that's white pigment ink just for your info now we're done stamping now what I need to do is gather my supplies I need to get those animals colored and then gather my supplies I'm gonna color them a little first and you know I grab my clean color markers a lot and I'll tell you why I grab the clean color markers a lot because guys they're just so darn easy they're right there they're right there but they're also they're so easy to work with I mean all I have to do is just use a little bit of marker you know I don't have to pull out anything much you know and often like there if I wanted to I can have one color I can blend out a single color and that's it that's all I have to do so I don't even have to do a ton of work with them um, they're really low maintenance and easy but you know what any color you've got anything you want to work with them to make this fox a little bit of brown and a little bit of this color too there we go oh I love it and don't worry if a tiny bit gets outside of the lines or something guys it's totally okay don't stress your coloring I mean I love to be a really great coloring guru someday maybe that would be fun but for right now I'm not for right now I'm just a girl who likes to craft and I like my crafting to be fun so I just don't stress I feel like the light of the stars is gonna just make the tops of them be light not quite that light I went a little too far there but a uh, little bit light now I am gonna let that dry before I add more because it'll make it easier to add more and then I think my bunnies are gonna be gray so I'm just gonna get some gray going here all right I've got my four little guys cut out here and I'm actually thinking it would look cuter if they were like mix and match so like the bunnies and the foxes are separated you know and my plan is to have their little tushies be on top of my little yeah just right on top of my little sentiment thing here and then what I'm thinking I'm thinking some sequins and just finish off with a just a few little sequins just boom 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 around this little sentiment strip and we're done this was such fun I love it and thank you so much to Sandy Ellenock for introducing me to Brusho because it's fun and I know you can do a lot more with it and I fully intend to re-watch her videos on Brusho and get myself challenged to do more with it but for today for this holiday you know what it's a holiday weekend though, as I'm filming this and it's a lot of fun and guess what I had a great time I made a cute card that I like I love these lawn fawn stamps I can't get enough of them uh, and you know it's a great time and isn't that what it's all about it is for me I hope that you have a wonderful day I hope you get a little bit of creative time and head on over to my blog for more tips tricks supply list and all of that good stuff I'll see you next time